Sneakers back in the house, yeah. Right, before we go and do some of these security distributions, uh, I got mailed a few weeks ago <clears throat> from the guy from NTX, stroke Mepis, saying he's got MX14 out and I'm ready to have a butcher's at. Would I mind have a look? Yeah, sorry, Geezer. I was just so busy, but now I'm back on it, yes. So this is MX14, made by the same guys that made Anti-X. Yeah, you know the one I mean. Yeah, you, that beautiful, beautiful one that's nice and fast, yeah. Mepis beast. But this time, we come with XFC with lots and lots of little tweaks, okay? It's what the community wanted him to do. So I've read, it's, not, it's what the community wanted in the distribution. And so that's why it's called MX14, okay? Right, up here we get a little clockage. Hello, Mr. Clock. And apparently, if you click the clock, or double click it, you get Orage, okay? Hello, Orage. Yes, I know it's April the 1st, April Fool's Day. This is not an April Fool's. It's a real one, okay? So goodbye. We get our browser. <coughs> Shall I open up? Shall I open up? No, we'll do that in a minute. Browser, we get our little settings box, so we'll open up our settings. So it's usual XFC stuff here. Appearance desktop file manager, preferred applications, panel notifications, screen saver, window manager, window tweak managers, manager even, workspaces, display, keyboard, touchpad and mouse, removable drives and media accessibility, Mimi Deb editor, sessions and startup, and settings editor. So it's all in there, really, when you think about it, isn't it? Yes, it is, Nick. Thank you very much. As you can see, Orange is still down there. Next, we have our package updater. Right, everything's updated. This is an install system, by the way. That's why it's in 1080p, 1920 by 1080. Okay. Language set to the UK, as you can see over here. I've got a wired Nick connection. Well, of course I have. It's plugged in. Yeah. Of course, the date, sound, and yes, I'm plugged in because obviously most people will. A lot of people use lapis. I just can't get enough. I'm big enough, really, to be really honest with you. No. Also, here we have a logout, so you can go logout, shut down, you know, suspend. And at the bottom here, we have a usual menu thing. Now, it comes with a whisker menu as well, by the way, if I tell you that. No. So, if I click on here, yeah. Hello, Mr. How are you? Right, our main browser is Quapzilla. Yeah. Quapzilla. You don't normally see that on many distributions at all, okay? So that's one way of getting to your menu. Okay? The other way is to right click the desktop and you get the XFC thing here. Okay? So applications, the same thing comes up basically, but in XFCE e styly, 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 styly. Yeah, rather good, isn't it? So we're going to go quick through with it with you. So, oh, should we open up our web browser first? Yes. I'll click on there. I've actually installed a couple of things anyway, just to make sure everything works. Remember, it's based on Debian. Yeah, Debian, not the Ubuntu, it's Debian based. Drink your water, hang on. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah, that's right, because I downloaded Chrome, that's why it's gone there. It goes straight back to the last one you had, okay? No, I've already been there, go away. Stupid thing. Okay, that, that Go is your default search engine, because it doesn't track you, okay? Security is getting really, really high on people's agendas at the moment, that's why I'm going to do some security distros next, so before. But hey, you can choose other ones if you want, but not really. Google, Wikipedia. That's it, basically. That's all you get. So if I go to the bubble curve, there's a few little bits and bobs I wanted to show you. Let's see how it renders up here. Okay, should render rather nice if you ask me. There we go. Yeah, uses cookies. I'm not really worried about that. As it's installed, renders fine as how it should look. Very Firefoxy because the reason is it's based on it. Okay, about Quabzilla. Okay, WebKit. Okay, five three four point three four application one six three. So the latest one that I know of. Yes, you can get Mozilla Firefox if you want to, and you can get Chromium. I've got Chrome, as I said before, but hey, that's the only downside with Quapzilla. It goes to the last page you went to. So if you was buying your wife a birthday present and she went on a computer, you're up Pooh Creek, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah, but that works okay. It does play Flash. It does run multimedia Codex, and I'll show you that in a second if you don't mind waiting a little bit longer for me. Okay, so that's gone. Anyway, we'll use a, have a menu down here, look, just to keep everybody happy. In accessories, application finder, archive manager, all the usual you would expect to see down here. Leafpad, make a live USB. Oh, lucky backup. Is that like going to a betting shop and saying, you know, how much do I get backed up or if anything? Yeah. The meter package installer for installing various applications. Midnight commandos, another file manager here you'll find. Or as we've already said, root terminal. Take a screenshot, view the sensors and stuff like that. And Thuna, of course. Under games, you just get a couple here. You get Breakout, got let Chromium BSU, which is Space Shooter, and Sudoku. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that now? 
But you get the full LibreOffice suite, so you do get LibreOffice Draw. You also get Mirage for viewing your images and Simple Scan for scanning. Under internet, Claws Mail, because it's light and fast. I don't actually mind Claws, it's quite good actually. To be honest, I'm a Chunderbird fan myself. If I was running a lighter system, I would probably choose Claws. No p p p p dial up, you might have to use that sometimes if you're using a wireless. Yeah, wireless. Okay. Now, I've installed a Chrome, Google Chrome, just to make sure it actually bleeding works, to be honest with you. So, while that's loading, I'll just have a. Mmm. Is going to play ball? Yeah, it is going to play ball. What about again? I'm just getting a fan. Don't ask again. So, there we go. Google Chrome works as it says on Latin. Right. Do you want to go? Do we want to go anywhere? Yeah, I suppose we could do, couldn't we? Where should we go? Should we go to YouTube? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the one we want. Yeah, YouTube there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Renders as it should. Now, I'm finding on this particular system, Chrome is a bit, as you can see, blotchy, I'm going to call it. It's only just been updated as far as I remember. So maybe that's just me, but I'll go into it later at another time, okay? Goat sim. Oh, bloody kids. What do they think of next? I don't know. So anyway. That renders alright and your videos will render and I'll show you why in a minute, okay? So I'm going to right click the desktop. In your little thing here you get quite a lot for more stuff here than you would normally in XFCE. You also get open root through now here, ownership of root, ownership to user, find files and create a sim link. Or some extra bits and bobs, okay? Under applications again we're going to go down, we've done graphics, done ginger net, oh, what else do we get? Transmission and XChat, yeah, standard, standard, standard. Under multimedia we get an audio mixer, Clementine, Minitube, VLC and XF Burn, all you'd really need. Under Office, the full suite, as I've said before, Orage, PDF Shutter for doing that sort of stuff, and PDF for more PDF stuff. Right, under System, and this is what I really wanted to show you, really, okay? Bleach Bit, as yeah, you would expect, GW Packaging as well, yeah, usual. Grub Customizer. So say you wanted to customise your grub, because sometimes it can be a little bit boring, it's all here, so I'll quickly open it up. I'm not going to do anything, but I'll just show you the application. But it will want my password. There we go. We're thirsty, at least. Let's try that bacon on it. Bacon receptors were going really bacony, if you know what I mean. So if we go to his appearance, and say you wanted to put a picture on your grub, you just choose the background image here, whatever you wanted to, and that's what you get. Easy of the peasy, isn't it? Yeah, I really like a little touch. Yes, that one. Well, what's the other ones I wanted to show you? Yes, hang on. Back down to the system. Uh, lucky pay. Lucky. Well, going to Argos. Well, right, MX Check apt GPG. That's very good. Right. Codex installers. Remember, in some countries, you're not allowed to install Codex and Flash in there. Right? So these are optional. Now, Flash is installed by default. Okay, so if I just click there. Yeah, yeah. Close that one behind it. I can reinstall Flash, update Flash. Blah, blah, blah. It's a non free program, okay? So it's up to you if you want to keep it or not. Basically, you are going to want to, aren't you? Because some sites are still running with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can update it as well and uninstall it. Okay, so you can cancel it. And the same goes if I go back down and back down to system. As you see, you know, all of them. This is my codex installer. I've already used that, okay? I've installed all the codecs. It takes about a minute and a half. All done. And you've got your user manager to add more users. NVIDIA install. You've got an NVIDIA card. The NVIDIA installer is here. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, already. Cups for your printing. Most printers should be. The only printers I'm having problems with lately is Canon. But they are a bugger. Apparently. Excuse me. Sense of view, I've told you. Snapshot. Take a snapshot, yeah. Synaptic is here for getting all your stuff. A system profile and benchmarker. A task manager. Should we get a task manager? Yeah, might as well look. Not doing nothing, is it? No, not doing nothing. It's alright, give it that. Uh, UN in Putin is here if you want to make it onto a USB stick. The XFC terminal, and that's about all I can show you here, really. So, anyway, if I open up my browser again, it's going to go straight back to Chrome again, isn't it? Oh no, it's going to go straight back to the bib there. Okay. So, if I just click on here, if I click on MX14, when it gets its back side into gear, here we go. Symbosis. Oh, blimey. Symbosis. You know, I didn't even. I've been such a whiz the past couple of weeks. I didn't notice that. But as you can see, it tells you all about it. It's a middleweight OS, and it is. It's not ultra lightweight, okay? But it's quite solid. Whether you still want to keep some of the other stuff is another thing. As I've told you, it comes with a whisker menu. 
from Cryptilla and all stuff like that. Lovely, jumpy, super duper. You can download it from here, by the way. The 32 and 64 bit home. Lovely. I like it. This is the Mepis community thing. In our next couple of videos, we will be going back to this site just to, to show you something. It's quite funny, actually, but you'll know that in the next video. Okay. Right. MX14. For the time I've had to play with it, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, I, st I think I still might prefer NTX personally, but that's just a personal preference. But if you like something a bit different, a bit, a little bit different look and feel, comes with some of the latest stuff, you can add what you want, by the way, and customise it to your heart's content. MX14 is very, very good, and I'm going to give it 90%. Lovely jubbly. Sneaky Linux going out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.